Hi friends. Today's lesson is for module four, lesson five. Our learning goal for today says, I can create and break apart numbers to five using pictures and a number bond. Friend, we've been doing this and so far, how do you feel about it? Yeah, I agree. We're doing amazing. All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to kind of tap into our brain and think about when we were comparing the other day. Remember that? Yeah, we had different sets of objects. We had to see how many of each one, right? We're going to use our good skills from comparing to try to help us out today. Because today we're going to be looking at pictures and we're going to think about how we can pull out some parts. So we're going to be looking to see how things are different. All right? Here we go. Then we're going to put all that good information into our number bond. So I started out with something delicious. I started out with a whole group of donuts. Don't they look so, so yummy? Oh, yeah. All right. So in that group of donuts, I see two different kinds of donuts. Do you see those? Hey, how about the different kinds will be our parts? So I see part are mm, yummy sprinkles. And the other part are, yes, the plain donuts. So scrumptious. All right, so let's start thinking about our parts. Let's count all of the sprinkle parts, shall we? Count the sprinkle donuts with me, friend. One, two, three. That means part of our whole group are three sprinkle donuts. So if we have the three sprinkle donuts, what's how many of the plain donuts do we have that would be our other part? Ding, 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 ding. Good job. Yeah, two. One, two. So... Uh, that whole group of donuts, we have three sprinkles and two planes. Our next number is going to be the whole amount. So how many donuts do we have all together, friend? Yeah, if you don't know, just count them. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Friends, if they give you a picture, they're doing that to help you out. Okay, use the picture. If you need to count them, go for it. But if you know three plus two is five, rockin'. If you have your good counting sticks on your hands to help you count on, cool. If you want to say three and then count on two more, three, four, five, you can. Any strategy to help you get that whole amount is fine. But I'm just going to tell you now, if there's a picture, use the picture. Okay? All right. Now, here what we did is we took a whole group and we broke up the parts to create that five in the number bond with showing the different parts that made it. And that's what we're working on. That's our learning goal. So I want you to go ahead and get a dry erase board and a marker. Can you press pause while you go grab those good materials and then press play when you're ready? Now don't forget, friends, if I talk too fast for you, press pause, do the work, and then press play when you're ready. I don't want to rush you, okay? But I do know that I'm a fast talker. All right, here we go. Do you have your dry erase board? All right. Can you go ahead and draw a plain empty number bond on your board? All right, now. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and look at a picture and see if we can't find the two different parts. All right. Ooh, right away you should be thinking, hmm, what are the two parts of those bowling pins? It's a whole big group of bowling pins, and how could I divide them up? You're so good. Yeah, I see a blue one and some red ones, right? Perfect. In our number bond, can you find one of the circles that would be a part? Can you sh uh, go ahead and write the number that would show the blue part of that whole group. Yeah, there's one bowling pin, so our one part is going to be a one. Excellent job. Now, what number would go into the number bond for the part that's four? Oh, that's red. I just gave it away. That's red. Yeah, four. Miss Arwood giving away all the hints. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four red ones and one blue one. All right, so if I have four and then one more, what would be my whole amount? How many bowling pins do I have in all? Go ahead and write it on your dry erase board in your number bond. All right, what was it, friend? Yes, five. Perfect. Did you use the picture to help you? Oh, perfect. Did you just count on four and then one more is five? I love those strategies. All right, erase your board. We're going to do another one. All right, go ahead and draw an empty number bond. Here we go. Ooh, penguins. Ooh, this one's going to be tricky. You have to use that good brain. Now, do you see a way that we could break these up into parts? Yeah, I see some red penguins and I see some purple penguins. Excellent observation, friends. How can I show those parts, part red, part purple, in my number bond? Can you go ahead, press pause, go ahead and fill in those two parts and then press play to check yourself. Okay. Okay. 
fill in your number bond? All right, at least the parts. Let's start with the red ones. How many red penguins do you see? Two. That's a part. How many purple penguins do you see? Two. That's the other part. Friend, sometimes people get so messed up when they see that their parts have the same amount in them. Did you kind of get nervous? Yeah, I would, it happens sometimes. And that's okay, because remember when we were comparing, we saw that sometimes when you compare a number, there's the same amount, right? And that happens sometimes in groups. Even if you break them up into parts, sometimes the parts are the same amount. It's okay, so don't worry. You're doing awesome. Now we want to figure out our whole amount. How many penguins are there in all? Yep, one, two, three, four. Perfecto. How's your number bomb looking? Oh, it is, is it? Well, nice job. All right, since you're doing such a fantastic job, I am going to give you a super duper bonus challenge tricky problem. Are you ready? All right, erase your board. Get that empty number bond all set up. And then here we go for this super challenge. All right, we know right away we want to start looking for a part. Part, 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 part. Oh, no. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, do they look, do any of them look different? No, they, none of these look different. Okay. Oh, what's your suggestion? To start with the whole amount? I mean, I see one, two, three, four, five pineapples. Let's go ahead and do five is our whole amount. Go ahead and write that in your number bond. And I want to break them up into parts, but I don't see any that are different. Do you see any that are different? No. Watch this, friends. This is going to blow your mind. What if I put five as one of the parts? Oh, because they're all five exactly the same, right? All right. So then that would make what as the other part? I told you this is a super challenge. Oh, did you say zero? Yes, that's exactly right. Friends, this does not happen a lot, but I'm telling you right now. If you have a picture where everything is exactly the same, if you want, the whole amount would be five, one of the parts would be five, and then there would be nothing as the other part. It would just be a zero. Is your mind blown? I know. This is tricky. If you don't understand it, it's okay. We just started all of this, so you'll get it eventually, but I just want to show you this super duper challenge. Whew, everybody say, oh, that was tricky. Good job. Friend, I am so impressed because our learning goal for today says I can create and break apart numbers to five using pictures and a number bond. And that is exactly what we did today. And you did amazing. Super impressed. All right, so here you go. This is what you're going to see saw to your teacher. Here's a picture of some cute, cute birds. All right. Now I want you to look for how they're different so you can figure out those parts of the whole group. I want you to draw an empty number bond and then fill it in with the parts of the birds and then the whole amount. All right? Be careful and good luck, friends. 